Today we're going to show you how to make wonton soup. So here we have some pork neck bones. This is a pretty inexpensive cut of pork and it makes really great flavorful broth. And what you want to do is salt it liberally and refrigerate overnight so it absorbs a little bit of that flavor since we're not searing or doing anything to it before we put it into the pot to cook. So this does need to cook for about four to six hours, so prep in advance, but it'll be well worth your time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna salt it a little bit, again. And then I'm gonna put it in this nice pot here, all of it. And you're gonna cover with cold water. You don't wanna use hot water since you'll start cooking the meat of the bones preemptively before everything has risen to the same temperature. So the water should cover the, the bones by about two to four inches. So it's got a little room to reduce across a span of four to six hours. Now I'm just gonna put in the ginger and scallions. We're just gonna bring this up to a light boil and then bring it down to a simmer and let it go for about four to six hours. And we're gonna come back to this after we've made some wontons and together we'll put together a nice bowl of wonton soup. We've had the pork neck bone broth going for about four hours now. And we're gonna strain that in a second here after we put in the wontons to boil. And so we can finish off and have our soup. So here are the wontons. They've been in the fridge. I covered them with a damp paper towel to just keep them moist. So we've got a pot of boiling water. We're just gonna gently set this in here. So the method I was always taught to boil the wontons is you put the wontons in the boiling water and then let it come to a boil. You're gonna put in a, a small bowl of cold water, let it come to a boil again, and then you're done. So two boils and wontons are done. Roughly that takes about five to 10 minutes in summation. So we're gonna let the wontons come back up to a boil and in the meantime, I'm gonna grab the pork neck bone soup here. As you can see all nice and aromatic. I'm gonna strain that since uh, usually people don't like too much bone in their soup. All right, a uh, quick tip. The pork neck bone that is now residing in that pot over there is also great as a snack while you're perhaps waiting for your wonton to come to a boil, which it now has. So I'm gonna pour the cold water in, strain this out. Even though they've cooked and has extracted all that flavor into the broth, they're also just delicious. The meat is super nice and tender. I love to like gnaw on them. It's awesome. So I'm just ladle this into a small bowl and when the wontons finish, I'll finish up the bowl with a little bit of scallions. And they're looking good, so I'm going to take these out and plate them in our pork neck bone soup. So I'm just gonna turn this off and bring our pot of wontons over. So you don't want too many wontons overwhelming your soup. It's after all supposed to be wontons and soup, not just wontons. Just gonna just carefully plop those in there. And you're gonna finish off with some scallions on top. Sometimes I also put a little bit of sesame oil. It's like nice and nutty, but Clean and simple, you can also just use scallions. And that is how you finish wonton soup.